Hi there, and thank you for clicking on my video. Uh, we're going to be covering in the Telios Boltor and Karnov one. Uh, very powerful gun. Uh, there, and I'm apologizing now. Um, I am actually on a laptop, so I don't have a mic. So the audio is going to be a bit off. Uh, there will be no new bro. <clears throat> there will be no new bro build for this. So we're going to get straight into multipliers. Multi-shot, base damage, critical delay, vital sense, fire rate is going to be prime shred. Uh, because in the primary fire, the non-incarnate form, we only have access to uh, impact and puncture. Uh, we're going to be covering the non-incarnate build first. So we will be putting hunter munitions on. Um, if you are not using the Panzer, uh, you do have the option of going with Viral. Um, but because I am using the Panzer pretty standardly now, and I recommend you do the same. Uh, mod for Corrosive, um, you can choose to increase. And it is one of the things that is the offset of choosing the Telos Boltar over the Boltor Prime is the base damage is a little bit lower. You can offset that by running a 90 uh, elemental and a 6060 instead of uh, dual 6060s. But it's a pretty standard runaround build. So you have multi shot, crit damage, crit chance, prime shred, uh, galvanized aptitude, hunter munitions, uh, high voltage, and infected clip if you don't have high voltage. Then simply just swap the uh, 6060s and do Stormbringer. So pretty basic. Uh, yeah, again, no new bro build. Let's cover the evolutions. Um, I went with the increased damage by plus two and 20% ammo efficiency for five seconds, stacks up to 3x. The Prime and the Telos both have the 3x uh, stack on this. The lower level one, the regular Boltor, um, does get a fourth combo point in this. I honestly I don't think it makes up a difference unless you want to go full bullet hose. Because uh, when you get to the later evolution, the bonuses are a little higher. And technically, because it knocks it down from 60% uh, to 80%, you can lean incredibly heavily into, <clears throat> into like a bullet hose if you want to. Um, I'll try it the next time the rotation comes around. Uh, for Evo 3, I did reload speed because uh, I'm primarily going to be using this for... Um, the like the primary fire though to be honest the it basically turns into a shotgun and i figured with the shotgun it would have some heavy fall off but i actually don't see the decrease on it so maybe that's one of the perks of this incarnate form because the the alt fire is incredibly strong and i did because i'm jumping between uh, both forms, but I will primarily be using the main form and not the incarnate form with this. I did the hybrid build, even though the primary or the prime version is a little bit stronger. But going crit only is only plus six crit chance. The status chance is pretty high for the status chance bonus on Evo 4. And frankly, I could see some value in that, especially if you are using the Telos Boltor, because the crit chance is so high innately compared to the Prime. Uh, but I went with the hybrid form, and I can tell you I'm probably not going to swap off of this, even for the plus six on the pure crit chance evolution. The fact is, is that it does millions and millions of damage without, like, Eclipse or like a roar or any sort of frame buff 
Um, and even using Neja with a very low power strength, uh, it doesn't even have power strength. Just a simple vulnerability buff. Um, I'm hitting eight figures now, so I'm probably not going to mess with this. But the Incarnate form is incredibly strong. So those are the Evos that I'm using. If you find that you want more damage, <clears throat> obviously mod accordingly. You guys know what to do. Um, so pretty basic. It's a combo building uh, or a stack building uh, primary. Now we're going to be shooting uh, Exos and it's going to be pretty weak at the beginning as normal. Um, if you find that you want more damage earlier, you can swap these out for 290s. Uh, if you are going to spend the Forma, but I really valued Prime Shred for the punch through. It is an extra stat, and you'll notice that with the uh, ammo efficiency, it gains a ton because you're hitting multiple enemies at the same time. So trash mobs are going to do trash mob things. Let's get our 195 exos in. And we are using acceleration. Yeah, once you get a stack, the damage climbs up, even though each hit is only like 5 to 10. And now that we have stacks, you can see it's about 12. I'm seeing 4, the occasional headshot is like a 13, so pretty standard base build, right? And then we have uh, what I would recommend for the alt fire, honestly, um, because the alt fire is as strong as, it, as strong as it is. Honestly, I find my, I found myself not wanting to use hunter munitions, uh, but I'll share that anyway. So same build as before, but with the incarnon. All right, and Carnot mode. Yeah, and you can see the damage goes way up. Um, with this form for most steel path, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Um, Hunter Munition is kind of useless because everything dies in like two shots anyway. Uh, so, Hunter Munitions, if you didn't want it, this would be a flex slot. Um, you could even uh, get rid of that, swap back down to regular Corrosive. And a Faction mod would increase your damage even more. Um, if you're looking for a more generalized build, um, or even a Galvanized Scope, if you do like that gameplay style, it's going to hurt you on the beginning mode. I mean, obviously the orange is in red, they're nice. So about 23k on a red, on a red crit. Um, one of the things you also have uh, access to, because if you notice the ammo pickup, it's 80. Um, if you can sort of maintain and watch 
your uh, <clears throat> ammo economy, the ammo pickup is almost an entire clip. And with the ammo efficiency that is built in, uh, Deadhead Stabilizer will get rid of the recoil, turn it into a laser beam, obviously. Uh, we'll do that. Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, so Stabilizer and the Exilus and uh, Deadhead for the Arcane is going to knock us down to no recoil at all, which will make the Galvanized Scope um, headshotting bonus way, way easier. Yeah, no recoil at all. So about 27k on roads. I'm seeing 14 to 17 on oranges. All right, let's see an Incarnon headshot. 236, 220, 178. It's got decent damage as is, but considering these enemies have uh, base armor of 1,000, uh, let's go ahead and just check out the level cap build. Um, if you were trying to do like a demo killer, and again, that was with no faction damage. So if you were to get rid of Shred, and just go for headshots, you would gain even more damage with doing uh, like a Grenier, uh, like a Bane mod, um, and swapping out for 90 mods, because you're not going to care about the headshots, right? Uh, applying like statuses on a headshot, you're trying to nuke something, and you have so much fire rate and multi-shot anyway, that you're still going to be able to get 10 stacks of corrosive if you do need uh, to worry about the status chance. And with 160-60, you're at 48% status. So it, you can bullet hose this super easy. You know, obviously you get status chance from galvanized aptitude, and that plays a big role. So it, you have options here if you want to do that. Bane, if you're approaching like a level cap setup, but let's go for um, like an actual armor strip level cap setup. And this is basically going to be a one tap, right? If pure crit, uh, cryo rounds, uh, prime cryo rounds to get the raw damage up as high as possible. And technically, you don't need this. Uh, you would want a infected clip here if you are going for an actual one shot. Um, but the base damage or the modded damage is 351. So this is what our crit's going to be multiplying off of. We have 120% crit chance and a 7x crit multiplier. We don't care about status at all. So keep in mind when you see the numbers that this is going to do, it's with basically two stacks on Calvinized Aptitude. And I'm, gonna, I'm about to hit these guys for eight figures, okay? You can easily get this weapon over 100 million on the Incarnon form. So it's a ton of crit, multi-shot, pretty basic and some faction damage. It's just multipliers on multipliers. It's not a special build. And obviously a little bit of RNG for Vigilante. Uh, supply set bonus. So, I'm going to do our strip. Just building up stacks, building up stacks. Alright, we got Incarno mode. 14 mil with just viral from Panzer, a 9.5, got an 8.9, 8.8. Alright, we're gonna hit him with vulnerability. 53 mil, 53, 53, and an 8. And we'll hit this guy. 
and a 35. So the the weapon has so much damage on that old fire. It has so much goddamn damage. <clears throat> but if you're looking for a level cap build, um, here you go. You you don't need uh, to be honest. I don't even think you need prime cryo for this. So I I hope this helps. It's just stat crit, stat faction. Um, and if you don't have uh, prime bane grenier, then you would uh, have to go maybe hammer shop to get more raw damage or even like serration because you're just running out of multipliers. The Bane mod works for dots, but frankly, um, with this sort of raw damage, no dot build, you're just running out of multipliers. So at the very end, once you get so many multipliers stacked onto Galvanized Aptitude and obviously Deadhead gets stacked up, the Bane comes like all the way back around and ends up being worthwhile because it's a separate multiplier, right? So I, I hope this helps um, for those that are you know, looking for something to mess around with. Uh, most of this applies to the Boltor Prime, if you're trying to do that as well. Personally, I'm going to be running around with the Bullet Hose one, even though the Headshot one is super nice running around and hitting for, like, millions and millions of damage. It, it feels a little tedious. So I'm probably not even going to be running with a faction. Just something like this. Go ahead and get the build back on. Yeah, personally, I'm probably going to be running with something like this, but if you want to know what the the level cap setup for, setup for this is, uh, I would go something like this. And the 60-60 for Malignant is going to be the, the compromise. So you have options of a no-riven build of swapping back and forth. And to be honest, both of these apply to the Telos, Boltor, and the Boltor Prime. So I, I hope this helps. Um, it's a pretty standard weapon, but it's just the Incarnon form is just fucking busted. So I hope this helps you guys get an idea of what you want to do if you haven't picked. I know this video is a little late, but uh, it just it has so many multipliers on it. Like a 7x crit multiplier is kind of hard to deal with in terms of like keeping your damage low. Like you're just going to kill enemies with it. So I, I hope this helps. Again, level cap demo killer and run around bullet hose. So it is what it is. I, I hope this helps, guys. Take it easy.